The year 2025 has pushed India's sea-based nuclear deterrence into a new phase and the latest test of the K-4 submarine-launched ballistic missile is a major milestone in that journey. Defence sources confirm that the long-range K-4 was fired from INS Arighat in the Bay of Bengal. This is India's second nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine commissioned only last year. The missile successfully achieved its intended range of about 3,500 kilometers. That is enough to place strategic targets deep inland well within reach. The K-4 is not just another missile test. It's a demonstration of India's most survival leg of the nuclear triad, the one that stays hidden under the sea. Why does that matter? In the worst case scenario, if enemy strikes wipe out land-based systems or air assets, a submarine sitting deep underwater can still hit back. That's what credible deterrence looks like, the assurance of a second strike. The K-4 belongs to India's secretive K-series designed and developed by DRDO. It's a solid fuel system that can carry nuclear warheads and is designed to be launched from more than 50 meters below the surface. A gas booster pushes it out of the water and only then does the main motor fire. This test marks a major step ahead because earlier trials took place from underwater pontoons. Testing from a fully operational submarine means the system is now inching closer to actual deployment. In fact, in November 2024, it was tested from a submarine. India's Arihant class submarines are being built to provide continuous deterrent patrols in the Indian Ocean. INS Arihant, the lead boat, has already completed multiple patrols. Now with Arighat testing its weapon and crew, the fleet is evolving from experimental to operational. The message this sends is loud and clear. The Indian deterrent now extends across the Indo-Pacific. From critical military hubs to far-off command centers, adversary now know India's reach. But this is also a transition movement. The K-4 bridges the gap between the short-range K-15 already in service and future submarine-launched ballistic missiles like K-5 and K-6. Those will push ranges beyond 5,000 and 6,000 km. That means Indian submarines will eventually be able to strike while remaining even deeper and safer in the Indian Ocean.